All right, here we go. Let's look at uh, let's look at crude oil. We're in a massive move down here on crude. Why? I got three time frames I want you to concentrate on. Okay? Is it market profiles over to our far left? We can use that for confluence. And we can look for it when the market's in a really, really hard downtrend on a move down above or below our profiles. So that's for confluence. But I made it so you can literally just trade off these three charts. I got a nine Simrenko right here, nine Simrenko. It's a lar lo longer uh, uh, Rinko, nine Sim. That's our largest Rinko that we use in the room, nine Sim. That's going to give us our trend. So this is our trend chart. That's going to tell us what the trend is. Very simple. If I'm below all three moving averages, you better be shorting. This is a trend chart. If I'm above all three, you better be looking to buy pullbacks. So that's a very important chart you must understand because it gets you in the direction of the push. Okay, so that's our trend chart. That's what we want to use for trends. So if I'm looking, the, the, the unique thing about the system is our Rinko bar, we actually build our own server to lock our Rinko bar. It's unlike any other Rinko bar because I have a trend filler actually built into it. So you catch these nice little trend moves or these nice little uh, moves in a lot of these markets based upon our Rinko bar. If you would put a minute chart up or a volume chart or a share chart or a tick chart, it doesn't work out that well. So, you know, you need to use the Rinko bar as far as the setup goes. So the trend chart tells us one thing. I got three MAs. The MAs are lagging by nature. We don't use them for support and resistance, per se. We use them for trend direction. If I'm below all three MAs, if I'm below all three MAs, I'm in a trend down. So I'm in a downtrend right now. I'm in a downtrend on crude. I'm in a downtrend. I do not want to take any longs, none, because look at the space between my Rinko bars and my smaller MA, the smallest one. Look at the hard trend. This is telling you you're in a hard trend down. There is no close, body of the candle close, even above my smaller MA here. We are below. My Rinko bars with the trend filter built in is down. We do not want to take any longs, none, not even thinking about it. We are not in a move up. We are in a move down. So that's my trend chart. It's telling us that we are in a position to go lower. So that sets us up for the trade setup right there. All right? What happens on the trend setup is this, is you see how that green bar, green bar just posted? I can use that to my advantage because I know that's a pause in the market from the amateur traders. The amateur traders are counter trend traders. Okay, when I had, when I was at, uh, a guest speaker for the uh, Las Vegas trade show last year, is that you get a lot of counter trend traders. I can't tell you how many tra uh, counter trend traders I talk to, you know, so. You, those are the amateur traders, that little green bar that prints. We know not to take that. We know to take the first red bar reversal, the next bar, after the green bar prints because it's below all my MAs. That's a trend continuation. Now look how that 3 sim Rinko printed a arrow short right there at that 20 retest. Why? This is the professional traders. This is us. This is us getting short at 20, not getting long. So the 9SIM gives you the trend. It gives you the trend. We are down. So how can we take advantage of that then? Well, if we're down, I, then I have another chart next to me. I have what's called a 5SIM Rinko. So this is a 9. And these templates are already pre-made for you guys and gals. This is plug and play on all markets. Then I have a 5SIM Rinko. What a 5SIM Rinko tells me, if I'm trending down, I want to see if it can retest these symmetry dots, red symmetry dots, and look for an arrow short. The market's been so weak right now on this hard trend down that it's not tested any of these red symmetry dots with an arrow. So what can I do? Well, if it's a weak market, I got another check down. If the market's just so weak, then on my third check down is my three sim. Remember, I got three charts. You can literally trade off these three charts with my system with the arrows. It's quite incredible when they line up. Nine is the long-term trend chart. Five is my intermediate chart. But then I have my three sim over here. That's my smallest Rinko bar. Smallest Rinko bar to trade off of. So what I can do is I can literally let my nine sim set the trade up with trend. 
when I get into trend, and then I let the trades fire off on my five or my three. Now, if my five is not going to give me a retracement, because when it's when the market steer steps down on any given market, the last 33 years of market profile, or even with any type of system like this, when the market steer steps down, you want to step down, you want to come back up, you want to test my symmetry dots with a couple ticks on the five, you want to see an arrow fire, and then you'd like to see a continuation. But if the market's too weak and you don't get retracements, then guess what? My three sim, what it will do, my shorter time frame, it will catch these retracements for you, the smaller retracements. They're called shallow retracements. It caught that high. I'll show you in a second. It caught that high. It caught this high, right to the exact bar. That high. It just caught this high. It caught this high. Let me show you. So that's what you can do. You can use the five to look for when it comes in within a couple ticks of symmetry like this. This comes within a couple ticks. And then look for the arrow to fire on the three sim or the five sim. So we have trend down. We are still not, not a body close inside of it yet. Now it's closing back inside a little bit. So today what we did is this. Trend is down. So what do we do? Look at these gorgeous arrows. Trend is down on the 9 sim, the 5 sim is down, arrow short, arrow short, arrow short, arrow short, arrow short, arrow short. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for 7 until the swing low came in. 7 for 7 on the swing coming in. Now, how can I, how can I jump in on these 3 sim? is if only if the nine sims in a hard downtrend, you'll see separation from these bars right here. You see the separation from the, uh, from the open versus close, meaning the body of the candle? It's not even touching the white bars. That's telling you you're a hard trend down. Look how the green bar is now straddling my smaller MA. What's that telling you? We're in a retracement level right now. It's starting to retrace. But if you are right here and you are separated from my smaller MA and you're below all three, you are trend hard down. You want to jump all over these three cent sim trades. Now, the five sim will give you a heads up because I keep telling you traders a great way to look at the five sim, not only for break retracements off the symmetry dots, but let it break the symmetry dots. Let it break. Let it retest the symmetry dots. Then look for an arrow short off the three or five sim and it caught it right there within two ticks. That right there is your biggest trade of the day. And I keep telling you guys over and over, you'll see thousands and thousands of trades like this with trend. You'll see it break. You'll see it retest. Now let's go back over and let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at this time on this retest here at 70. 70, what do we get on the 3 sim? Right here at 70. We're at 70. Let's do a little right there. 70 retest. How gorgeous is this? Look how that matches up. It broke the five sim support. It broke the five sim support. So how do I teach you guys? If we're in a downtrend, two ways you can trade symmetry dots. You can trade the break, retest with trend, and look for the five or three to fire right there. And she fired, and there you go. Where's your stop loss? Two ticks above the swing high. You have a very small stop on these arrows. Two ticks above the swing high. So you had a 65 fill short all the way down to 90, you get a $750 potential trade just on that break retest. Risking no more than 130 bucks, but that risk is going to be right around 100 bucks because it's off a three sim trade. You get a $750 move per one contract potential. Just trading the correct way between the sim charts. Okay? So, you want to trade that way. You want to trade using the nine for trend see right now it's it's in a counter move up look it's straddling the bars again you're not separated from them you're straddling them that's why the trend filter with this wrinkle bar is so important this wrinkle bar you can look at all these other wrinkle bars it won't even compare to this it's very 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 unique because I have the trend filter built into it already so what it'll do it'll catch the sweet spots in the market when we're when we're cracking down and we're not touching any MAs you're in the weakest spot in the market. Then my arrows off the five and the three will tell me what? They'll tell me where to pop in the trade. All right? That's how we want to do it.
We want to pop in these trades when they're like this. Now, well, you can use a 9 sim. Yesterday after crude oil inventory, and I was talking with my buddy who trades the system yesterday, and he said that was just a beautiful short yesterday after crude oil inventories. He said, you always tell us to wait right around 15, 20 seconds. It happened at 31 seconds after the news report. What happened after 31 seconds after the news report? Well, these are your entries yesterday off crude oil inventories. What happened? You see the below all moving averages. It crossed below it. There's your first green bar. There's your amateur traders, all those traders. We had over 5,000 traders at the Traders Expo. Almost none of them knew about market profile or market delta. All of them were about, were about what? Trading divergence, trading, counter trend trading. These are those guys that are getting killed in the market. That green bar is the amateur traders. This green bar retracement, amateur traders. Green bar retracement, amateur traders. Amateur traders, amateur traders. Where do we get in? We get on the first red bar right there. That caught crude oil inventories right there immediately. That was a 73.40 short, 73. Over 300 ticks, 300 ticks, straight down. Why? We caught the exact bar, the inflection point when it's going to go because it got below them. There's your first red bar. Here's your first red bar to short again. Here's your first red bar short again. Here's your first red bar to short again. We're not amateur traders, right? We know that the pause in the market is where amateurs are getting in because they're thinking, well, it's too low. It's got to go back up. No, it doesn't. The reason traders continue to lose is they try to catch the falling knife or jump in front of the runaway train. You got to get that out of your head. We, we sell low, we buy lower. We buy high, we sell higher. And if you can't do that, then you really can't trade the futures markets. You got to get that in your head. We sold low here and bought lower. Sold low here, bought lower. Sold low here, bought lower. Sold here, bought lower. Today, the same way. Look at it. You sell, you buy, sell low, right? You sell low, buy lower. On all these arrows down, sell low, buy lower. Sell low, buy lower. Sell low, buy lower. Sell low, buy lower. You got to get that. That's why the retail always gets killed. That's why you're smarter than your trading opponents. You're trading opponents, and I've seen a lot of them out there. It surprised the heck out of me at the Traders Expo that – all these traders know nothing about market delta or market profile. That really surprised me. Only had a couple people. Out of over 5,000 traders, that's pretty crazy. But it just shows you that the public or retail is the last to know. You got to trade order flow. And order flow will be dictated based upon trend retracements, buying and selling trend retracements into support or resistance. It's the best way to do it. That 9 sim is going to set it up. We knew right here when, look at that, 50% of the candle right there. 50% of the candle told you this thing's going to counter itself back up. Right there. That 50% candle straddling it right there. That told you right there, you better watch out. The sucker's on a retracement. Now look at the spread in between it. Look at the spread. Spread in between the open versus close on the body of the candle. That's telling you this market's in a serious retracement right now, right? Now we're coming up to resistance again. Now we can look possibly at a continuation again short because we're back into market profile resistance. Now we should have another retracement short coming. But you can see how you can catch the moves based upon using that 9 sim. It told you there, short, 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 short. Right here, here's your all these short opportunities. And then it here it told you when 50% of the candle is above, straddling it, it's telling you, hey, that sucker's going to retrace hard. Here she goes, right? And it doesn't matter what you trade. It's irrelevant. It's the same exact setup on all markets. Use the 9 sim to set the trend. Trend right here is down. Yeah, Gerald, I'll be done one second on this. Right here, the trend is now, after that 50% candle straddle, the trend is counter trend trade up. Now what's it trying to do? Hit, hit market profile. It's going to try to do this again. Another wave down, right? So use the arrows only on the side of these MAs, though, on three MAs. Don't use any arrows on the five or three unless you're below three 
or above three. That's the best way to do it. Not unless you take a counter corrective wave move and get back inside like this at 20. And you want to take a retest right here, a retest at 30, and you want to take a counter move up. Okay, right there. That, that counter move up at these lows. Low here, low here. That's your only two shots at doing the counter move up. Right there at that low of 15, right there at that low of 25. Because we're in a corrective wave up. Now let's try and do a wave down. We're at resistance market profile. What do we do? We're in a downtrend. Sell, retest of LVA. And what, what does it do? Do you think I'm just lucky? Think I'm taking a big guess before it happened that it would stop here? That's the order flow, guys and gals. That's LVA, low value area. Look how it stopped right to it. What do you do? Negative market delta. Where's it going? She's trying to roll back over again for another wave down. Use the charts, all right? Like crude oil inventories, right? Yesterday, fundamentals said it should have rallied. Fundamentals said it should have rallied and it sold off, right? So you got to trade technical. 